Okay, first of all, tell us uh, what this Barn Bash is all about here tonight. Well, the Barn Bash is really to celebrate agriculture. And what we have going in the state of Iowa is absolutely the most fantastic climate for agriculture. And in fact, even Iowa is uh, known throughout the world for our great soils and great people. Is this also, in a way, sort of a, a campaign launch for you for your upcoming house race? Yes, it certainly is. And I have a group of uh, neighbors here that from all spectrums, uh, from every part of the state and every part uh, party that we have here. Now, you were, with redistricting, obviously your district changed. What is different about it now from uh, the area you served before? Well, the area I served before, I... I uh, got a lot of good friends from that area, and we're just increasing uh, more ag yeah, into the into the picture, and also a lot more private businesses. And but everybody is very enthusiastic. Now, obviously, you are now in the same district with a fellow Republican, Pat Grassley. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? likely primary race. Yes, it's unfortunate that they put two people that are very positive for agriculture. But you know, this is, it happens. Every 10 years it happens. And so these are the cards we were dealt and we're just going to work our best. Um, a lot of people, of course, will recognize the Grassley name. Does that automatically give him an advantage? Oh, I don't think so. I think uh, a lot of people throughout the agriculture uh, sector in our state recognize how hard I've worked for agriculture, agriculture interests, rural interests, also Veterans Affairs and Education in this area. What's your relationship with Senator Grassley? It's fantastic. He has been very positive for me. He has helped me in my previous campaigns. And every time I see him in a, in a parade, we shake hands and say hello. Do you feel pretty confident about your chances of, of keeping your seat? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I wouldn't be running again.